It's a beautiful calm morning to leave. It shouldn't be hard to find the channel. We're leaving Muthumba Creek this morning and heading on down to Kingfisher Bay. It will be a falling tide so we'll probably stop around Moon Point and have lunch while we're waiting for the incoming tide to take us down to Kingfisher. Just passing Arch Cliffs. And we're doing really nicely. We've got 4.8 to 4.5 knots of wind, and we're doing 4.3 knots. That's good. Yeah. I'm very pleased with our baby blue. Passing Kungle Creek. We're just going to anchor here for a little while and wait for the tide. Getting lunch ready. Will is cleaning the track because the sail was hard to get down. It's been a calm day for whale watching and now they're all heading back to Harvey Bay. We're just going to round Moon Point and then go on down through the Sandy Straits. We waited for the tide to change so the tide's coming in again and it'll help us. Little Woody Island. We're at Kingfisher for the night. We might stay here tomorrow too. It's very calm. Look at the water.
fine, but... Wow. And it's landed right on the ferry. <laughs> Beautiful day it's turned out to be. It had me fooled. We were going to go ashore for a walk, but the showers were on and off all day. We left Kingfisher not long after sunrise. Not far south of Kingfisher is the wreck of the Ceratidus. You don't often get it this calm, so we decided to stop and have a look at it. We moved in as close as we could in Belize, but decided to anchor Belize further down at Yankee Jack's and come back in Mo and have a really good look. Coffee rock cliffs on this part of Fraser are just stunning. The wreck of the Ceratitus lies at Angawa, and that's just south of Kingfisher. During the 1940s, the Ceratitus carried fine white sand from Deep Creek and sand from Bun Bun Creek to Meriburra, where it was used as moulding sand in the iron casting industry. I think it was later used as a logging barge as well. Just south of the Ceratitus is Deep Creek. This is the remains of the logging wharf. 
and further up Deep Creek is another wreck, the SS Palmer. The SS Palmer was used as a logging barge and it also transported gravel from Big Woody Island to Harvey Bay. This was in the 1930s and it was abandoned in Deep Creek in 1942. We're just going to have a look up Yankee Jack Creek. The tide's already on the way out, so I'm thinking we might have left it a bit late. It's definitely too late. On a bigger tide, we'd be able to clear this log and continue further up to the fresh water. But not today. It's low tide, so we're going to go for a walk to stretch our legs. So 
so much sand. In the next video, we'll be heading down to Gary's Anchorage. Thanks for watching.